get some knowledge of learning. When a child comes to school and he's worried about where he's going to be living at the end of the day, or where his next meal is coming from, the education is the last thing on his mind. If he's got to worry about whether his mom is going to be there or whether his dad is going to be there, then the education is the last thing on his mind. So until this group gives a component that builds economic development, what you're going from is that you're going from a 7,000 enrollment to a 17,000 enrollment, all with the same problem. Because the kids that are currently socially economically deprived of November 9th will still be socially economically deprived. It's not going to change. It's not going to change. Now, if the Chamber of Curie wants to help promote education in, in our community, they could have used some of that three or four hundred thousand dollars of help that they're using to send those folks on the street and put up those billboards and they should have put it in those pre-K classes and they could have bought four or five teachers and paraprofessionals. But these schools were letting teachers know because of furloughs and not being able to fund their budgets. If they would have stepped up to the plate and said, hey fellas, I got an extra ten thousand dollars, I'll pay for a class. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a helper, so you put your money where your mouth is. Because when these leaders had an opportunity to send their children to a school, they opted out. They didn't send their kids to either count or to, or to the city. They sent their kids to private school. That's right. And now all of a sudden, we're interested in all the children. Well, if it's not good enough, if, if the county wasn't good enough for your child, and the city wasn't good enough for your child, and we went to private school, but now I can tell you that that you're not doing something right. Well, how do you know you've never been there? And then we at the Battle City School educated you. Then you must not be successful. Because both of the leaders were educated in the Battle City School system. So if, if, if it wasn't any good, if it's not any good now, it must not be any good either. So how were they able to attain with their status or where they are if, if something was wrong? <clears throat> what I am growing is that we need to strategize how we're going to attack it. We've done a great job on the science, uh, Councilor Vickers and, 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 and Mr. Brayford and, and, and Nunn. I mean, they have canvas. And, and where is, uh, where are our, our gun coming from? Where, Blake. Where's Blake? And, and Blake, they have canvas this area with the science. And, and, and that's a start. And we have bumper stickers. But you know, one thing that we don't have is that we don't have a ton of money like the folks across the street. You know, they got they got an office right across the street. I, uh, a lot of them may have missed it, but they, they just they just left their office at, at six o'clock. So they they're, 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 they're in they're in now. The, we've got to hurry to take out signs up because they, they've been going by taking out signs now. But we've got to continue to tell people. That until they give us some additional information, we're not going to. You know, I, I never would have thought that I would have been standing here on this side of the fence telling you about something that was this controversial. Because it would have been easy for me just to sit on the side. But I have to tell you this this, this guy sitting here at, at this table, Mike Young Mel. He's the reason why we're here. No word me to death. <laughs> day in, day out, email, in, email out. And in my mind, I'm thinking, well, somebody is going to see through this smoke through. You don't need me, I'm going. But then it got to a point where nobody would come forward. Everybody knew that there was a problem, but, but nobody would come forward. Now, now, my wife works at Lomax, but she can go home in a minute. Bless her heart. Bless mine. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have a dog in this life. Other than what's best for the children and what's best for our employees. Because, you know, you look at the, 
the, the central office, and that's their, their, their central location, is that we won't need all this administration. Well, you may not need that much administration with those same titles, but you're going to say you're going to need that many administrators. I mean, you, you're going to garner 7,000 extra kids, and you're going to do a better job in educating 7,000 additional kids as you are with the team that you got and not have any additional administrative costs. That, that just won't work. They may not be all assistant superintendents, but they're going to be something. And then the part about whether the county will take care of it. And they will. In due time. But I can tell you this if the shoe was on the other foot. I take care of my house first. And I'm thinking everybody in here would do the same thing. You're going to take care of your house 